Hello, all my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your weekend energy for your mystic affirmations. Remember, this is our relentlessly optimistic, positively positive, bringing our energy together to focus our intention on creating our best possible life, using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to use intention and beautiful affirmations to bring ourselves through any challenges we may have and moving forward into a higher existence and a higher frequency. If you'd like a personal reading, remember this is for all sun, moon, and rising signs. It is a collective reading. So if you'd like a personal one, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And if you'd like a little pick-me-up throughout the week or any other time, check out my podcast, Royal Mystic Collective Wisdom. It's available on all podcast platforms. And with that, we'll go right on into the energy. We have the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So the Ace of Swords is a gift from Divine. It is Remember, all Aces are gifts and they're placed intentionally. This one's the gift of clarity. And who doesn't love some of that? Sometimes it's a little painful because the truth can, can kick you right in the behind. But this gives you a clear way forward. So facing what's there and being shown what's there because it's kind of parting the clouds or part raising the fog, lifting everything out of the way so you can see clearly the path ahead. Then you have the Eight of Wands, which is the energy of very fast moving, new communication, new energy, very charged energy. And for some people, it can mean air travel. The world is opening up again, so that'll be more common. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, king of wands, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So you had the king of rods, which you know is the is the Aries, Sagittarius, and um, Leo energy because it's a fire sign energy, but as the energy of that king is the full capability of moving forward with something whether it's a new business it's an entrepreneurial energy it's a leadership energy or a new employer it can also be that it is taking action and moving forward so let's see what else we have the fool very smooth transition whatever move you're about to make this is the adventure awaits and you're ready to take the leap this is the energy of a brand new beginning leaving the past behind closing the door to it and allowing you to move forward with no strings attached very smoothly N nothing upsets the apple cart and a brand new thing is laid out before you that you don't have to struggle to get to so that is a cycle change in the best way possible now we have good fortune who doesn't love some good fortune we'll take that thank you very much universe the universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune. Absolutely always a beautiful energy of realizing that you can have things come to you out of the blue. They don't have to be things you know about. That's what's great. Things come unexpectedly. And when you set it up that way and you say, thank you, universe, I know that blessings are coming to me from sources known and unknown. That's when you set up for that expectation of anything's possible. Good fortune is always a happy, wonderful conversion of energy. We have awareness, which is part of the reason you're here, is to wake up that thing within you that keeps you on point and keeps you focused and keeps you tuned into the positive. When I focus on positive energy, I am aware that I attract more of it. This is the law of attraction, and, and all you have to know is that it's possible. Period. Everything else after that takes on its own energy once it begins. Let's see what our little angel answers oracle cards have to say. Abundance, which we will thank you very much and take it. Thank you. The energy of abundance raining down. You see this spiral. It's really, I think, several orbs. 
but it, it could be the DNA spiral of the download coming in of abundance as the it's just overflowing. Literally, it's even raining abundance in the corners there. Remember, right before that was the good fortune. So we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take that confirmation. Yes, we will. Oh, well, this one's been our favorite for a few days. It is so true. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and strong connection to source. Once you have something big that you manifest through your energy, through your belief, you'll never question it again. And it, it you may tell yourself, coincidence, okay. Coincidence or not, believe. Believe in the coincidence if you must. But believe. Life mirrors my every thought. As I keep my thoughts positive, life brings to me only good experiences. Are you noticing a trend here? All the positive, positive, positive showing up in all the cards and belief. As I say yes to life, life says yes to me. Big fat yes. Life mirrors my every thought. As I keep my thoughts positive, life brings to me only good experiences. As I say yes to life, life says yes to me. Yes. Yes. I'll do it in a victorious vocalization of it. It is my mind that creates my experiences. I un am unlimited in my own ability to create the good in my life. I now go beyond, this is the key, other people's fears and limitations. Remember, if it's not happening to them, they may not understand. And their fear and their own limited thinking is not your fear and your limited thinking. Don't let them dump that on you and accept it. Put your shield up on that and just be in a place of either A, don't tell the dream killers about it, or B, Set it up. So so I have to do this with some of my family members. <laughs> I have to say to them, okay, before I tell you this, I just want you to know I'm only running it up the flagpole and I'm not asking for input. <laughs> and then I tell them what it is because they'll, they'll automatically go into solving something I'm not asking them to solve. So you have to find a way to broach it first, like, you know, give that little preemptive thing is I don't want your fear and your I don't want limitation and fear so I'm not asking for that I'm just telling you about this cool new thing I'm about to do so <laughs> I now go beyond other people's fears and limitations it is my mind that creates my experiences I am unlimited in my own ability to create the good in my life and that is all it is yours it is your experience it is yours to choose and, and make your own way forward without the limitations posed on you by others. It's hard enough to get past our own limitations. So, here we go. Ooh, King of Swords, Archangel Michael. Hello, Archangel Michael. Beautiful energy. Now, this king is Air Sign King. We had the Fire Sign King first. Now we have the Air Sign King, which is Libra. Aquarius and Gemini major arcana the the knight of pentacles and even though it's a knight this is earth sign energy so Taurus Virgo Capricorn knight of pentacles is on his way bringing this abundance he's the courier so he's bringing this abundance normally in the standard tarot they're on horseback which shows that they're really on the move so this is a really good energy <gasps> and the sun what a spectacular way to put ourselves in the right position for happiness and joy and abundance. The sun energy is the happiest card in tarot. And this reading is amazing. So I hope all of you can really scoop up a, a big heap of this wonderfulness, place it in your heart, and manifest it through your own belief and your own ability to create your best possible lives now. Moving forward in a new cycle, with the assistance of the King of Rods, which is action, the King of Swords, which is knowledge, the, the Knight of Pentacles, which is financial assistance, and 
the whole universe in alignment in these two cards, the fool and the sun. So that's an amazing reading, if you ask me, hands down. Many blessings to you all. May it benefit you in the very highest frequency in your lives. And I will see you again on Monday. Namaste, my friends.